Hello, welcome to the fifth video of this course. Today we're going to see how to create simple surfaces. We're going to start creating surface by creating a circle on the top viewport. So center of circle, just click whatever with the left button of the mouse. Just something like that. Right. Now let's make let's make an, an ellipse, more or less the same way. It doesn't really matter if it's much bigger or much smaller. And finally, we're going to create a rectangle. First corner, and then the opposite. Right. Now you see that we have three different curves in the same in the same position. So, from from the front viewport. We're going to select one of them, whatever, and we're going to move it up, right? So we will have something like that. We can just click and drag, I mean, click whatever, click one of the curves, and by pressing the left button of the mouse, move it up. But to make it accurate, I'm going backwards for a while, we need to select one, and here we have move. Left click in there, and now you check here on the command line, it says point to move from. Just click whatever, and then uh, left button of the mouse again, whatever you want to, to leave it. Okay? It's more or less the same, but using move, it's much more professional. I'm gonna move this circle, but I'm gonna just drag it down. Okay, something like that. I'm going to maximize perspective now. And you see I have three different curves. And now what I'd like you to show what I'd like to show you it's how we're going to create how we are going to create a surface out of these three curves. If we maximize this menu, at the surface menu, you'll see here we have loft. Right, so let's click on loft. And now it's asking for curve to loft. We're going to select this first one, then this one, and then this one. If you see here on the top, it says press enter when done. We are done, so enter. Right, we will have this seam. This seam is basically what it's telling us where does the software starts and where does sorry, what where the surface starts and where the surface finish. Anyway, by default, especially in this case, which is quite simple, we just have to press enter, okay? Right, so this is a surface. To make sure that it's closed, just press closed and preview. Oops, sorry, if we click closed, it's going to close it, I mean, like that, and then going down. If these curves are closed, which they are, we shouldn't be having any problem. This is going to be a closed surface anyway. We have some options here you can check. If we click the build and control points, I mean, if we decrease this number, make it smaller, like five, and click preview, we will see that our surface is going to be much more simple. All right. If you want to see it better, just right click here and shade it. Well, well, you see it different, okay. And well, just basically play with this. If you make it, for instance, like two, you see it's going even more simple, right? We're gonna do something like that, then okay. Now this is a surface. You see, you can see through the. I mean, you can see from the top to the end that this is not solid. We cannot really print an object like this. We need to make it solid. To make it solid, we just need to select the object and open this menu, which says Boolean Union. And we're going to use mm, this, this one, cap planar holes. If you see now, it was a surface, but now it's a solid. We can now 
putting this object.